welcome to another video from Face Installations. We've got a 2021 Bentley Continental GT. This vehicle wants to be protected with a front and rear dash cam. We're going to be fitting the brand spanking new GNet Geon 4. This dash cam is a 4K resolution dash cam. Parking mode, Wi-Fi and GPS. We'll be fitting the front facing camera at the top of the windscreen. And we'll also be putting the rear camera on this one to give it good coverage. Putting the rear camera at the top of the middle of that rear windscreen. Um, but there's not a lot of visibility from that rear windscreen. So we're going to put it so high up that A, it will give a good view out. But you'll pretty much won't see it from inside the vehicle. So if we just show you the Geon 4. This is, as I said, brand spanky new. It's only just come out. Look at that, absolutely fantastic. Very stylish. So it's 4K resolution front camera. The rear camera is 1080p. It comes with a 64 gigabyte memory card, parking mode, Wi-Fi, GPS, as I said before. This is gonna look very, very nice in this vehicle. Anyway, let's get round to fitting this and we'll show you what it looks like after the break. Okay, welcome back. So we're all done. And let's walk you around the vehicle and show you how it looks in this vehicle. So if we just jump in passenger side. Look at that. Matches the interior, very good color match. All the wires hidden, so there's no wires draped over the dashboard. Very, very stylish. It's a fit and forget camera, so you don't have to do anything, you just drive. And as I said, the rear camera there, look, you can't even see it. Just about if I go down low, you can just see it there. But when you're sat in the seat, looking through the mirror, you don't see it. Very, very nice on this. Beautiful, beautiful car. If we look from the outside, can't even see it very well from the outside either. Very, very discreet. See if we can show you a bit better from this angle. Just about see it in the middle there. Very wide angled lens. Let's jump in driver's side. So there we go. Looks really, really neat. Let's start the car up. So we'll show you what the app can see or what the camera can see from the app. So this is how you connect it up. Connect to Wi-Fi, select the Geon 4, put the passcode in. Now you think, oh well, anybody could do that. But the only way to connect to the camera is also by pressing the button on the camera once you've connected to Wi-Fi. So once you've connected to Wi-Fi, open the Gnet app up. Tells you the password in the Gnet app as well. But once you've put the password in, press that little button there. That will tell the camera that you want to connect your phone to it. Click retry. And in we go. If we click real time video now. This is what the camera can see. Very high quality image, very wide screen. Very, very nice. Gives you all the time, date, voltage, speed along the bottom. It's got built in GPS, so it will know your location. Now, if we press the little button if I can get my finger right on there let's have a look at the rear camera so we click that button there where it says front camera that will change it to the rear camera let's make it full screen again absolutely fantastic resolution and very very wide angled so if a car come from all angles from behind and hit into the vehicle you're going to capture that and if we go into more detail now, 
I'll show you how what, what you've got on the app if we click settings. So this is the app uh, on an iPhone. So once you've clicked settings, click camera, this is the resolutions and the brightness. These are all the settings you can have. Voltage management, so you can have it so that it, you can change set certain voltage for your vehicle so the camera will stay on while the engine's switched off. Or you can have a timer for a set time. So if you want it to just stay on for three hours, you can set that. And these are the ADAS functions. Most people don't bother with that, so we turn them off. Audio settings, event settings. We always turn the event buzzer off so that as the vehicle's driving, you don't want it to go beep beep every time it goes over a bump. So we turn that off. That's the memory settings. So you can format the memory card as well from here. This is just a very brief overview of the app so you can see what the app looks like on your phone update the software version if it ever needs it and then you've got recorded video in the bottom middle if you click that that'll then find all the footage that's on the camera so there you can see all the footage and it shows parking mode or normal Wi-Fi disconnected and obviously the manual button because there's a manual button so you could just press that and it will store it in that separate section but that's just a brief overview of the app I think you'll find that it's absolutely stunning looking camera in a beautiful beautiful vehicle and that is the Gion 4 from GNET 4K resolution, GPS, Wi-Fi, parking mode, 64 gigabytes of memory. Absolutely fantastic. Book your vehicle in now. Thank you for watching.